Hello everybody, this is Sam and I ran a Crowley and I am here in my apothecary and pantry. This is where I store all of my merchandise and products and goodies. So I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that I like to use. And for those of you who are new here, you're probably thinking, okay, what do I do? How do I do it? What do I use? This video is going to start giving you that information. So check out the next video. Okay, welcome back to Candle Magic and Chandler Crafting with Samhain and Irena Crowley. So this is one of my molds and I'll put a link in the classroom area for you so that you can buy these. These molds are great. They're very, very strong. They're easy to clean and they have hundreds of them in all kinds of, sh of shapes. What I love about this mold is that it's made by a practitioner. There's the cat one. The male figure one. Goddess figure. And of course the female figure. And in the next few videos, I'll show you how to use these, how to clean them, and how to store them. So I store them in a box in a dry, cool place. And for those of you who are interested, go to the link in the bio. And for those of you who want to learn more, check out the next videos. And so the next question is, welcome back. The next question is, how do I melt my wax? Okay, so I use these because they are just incredibly convenient for small scale crafting. Now, for those of you who are used to doing larger amounts, you know how important it is to have a spigot on your cauldron. Now, these plug in, they plug into the wall, they have this kind of battery system. This is where you change your temperature. And you plug these into the wall. Pretty simple. They're called Solite, but they have several of these. I have this on my website and this is available for you to buy for those of you who are interested. And for those of you who want to learn more and see how I actually use this, watch the next video. Welcome back everybody to Candle Chandling with the legendary Samhain Irena Crowley. So the next question was what kind of supplies do you use? What kind of wicks do you use? What kind of dye do you use? What kind of wax do you use? So these are some of the wicks that I like to use. Depending on the candle, sometimes I even use a mop and you can get these on the website and a few different kinds. Notice that they are 100% organic and they're hemp and beeswax. They do have the metal, the metal center at the bottom. And I like these because they burn slow and evenly. So that's a, a little tip for you to um, get something that is beeswax because it just burns better. My dyes, I use a lot of different dyes. I love a lot of color in my candles. So a good candle dye will also dye soap and all kinds of things. Yes. 
I also have this available on the website and you get a huge box, by the way, and this will last you for at least a year. And then this is a soy-based wax. Soy-based soy wax is very soft. It's a very soft wax, so if you're not used to working with a soft wax, then then go back to your paraffin or your beeswax. But I like the soy. That's just kind of my style for my candles, which you can also get on the website with a different variety of waxes. Thank you for watching and check out the next video. Here's my Oya altar. This all was being built before our hurricane came in and I just wanted to share with you what this little plum gave me. The plums gave me a, a little goddess. There's <laughs> the stem, there's the top, there's the bottom. And I've been working with Oya for a while now and I love her. She's one of my favorite goddesses of the African mysticism and shamanism root work. In addition to that, um, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a candle from your coffee containers. So make for sure that you keep these for those of you who are practitioners. They're recyclable and they're great for candle making. So I'm also going to be teaching you how you can make candles from your coffee cans. They're great molds. And this is the old school traditional way. We would use food cans or coffee cans and we call them can candles and they last forever and they burn great. And they're just a wonderful utility candle to use. I'm gonna teach you how to make these as um, my Chandler teacher passed down to me, Louis Newston now from the Temple of Good Things. Shout out to Team Temple. And for those of you who grew up in Los Angeles and LAX and those of you who know the good old Louis Nusa now, I'm going to be passing down some of the techniques that he taught me. So thank you for watching the videos and check out the next video.